Machining strategies in AlphaCam are located in the Machine tab and to be able to choose a machining strategy you need to select the tool first. From the Machine tab select the Select Tool command and here is our training folder and from this folder select the tool flat 12 millimeters with radius 0 0.5 okay to select a tool double click the left mouse button and again left click to accept the selection okay the tool is selected and now we can choose a machining strategy. We will start with machining contours. Contour machining, it is generating a toolpath along the indicated contour. From the machine tab, select rough or finish command. In the first tab, in the types tab, we specify the type of contour machining. The vertical option is responsible for standard contouring and we will focus on it. In the geometry section, we choose how we want to indicate the geometries to be machined. By selecting All Geometries option, all geometries from the drawing will be selected for machining. By selecting the Selected option, we manually indicate the geometries that we want to machine in this operation. And by choosing the Partial option, we can prepare the machining of fragment of geometry. So if we have our outer contour and we want to prepare machining of only one side, we can use this option. But for now, let's choose selected and go to the general tab. In the tool section, we have information about the tool that will be used for this operation and here we can also change the tool by clicking the change tool button and selecting another tool from the tool table. In the compensation section we specify whether we prepare machining with or without tool compensation and if you want to prepare machining without tool compensation we simply choose the option tool center. And if we want to prepare machining with tool compensation, select the machine comp. Let's choose the option without compensation. Okay. The XY corner section is responsible for the appearance of the tool path on the outer corners. This will show later on an example. And here select the straight. And let's move to the Levels and Cuts tab. In the Z-Levels section, we specify the machining levels. Safe Rapid Level means the level of safe height at which the tool can move freely in a rapid move, for example, between operations. And let's enter here 25 mm. The Rapid Down to means the level at which the work fit will be activated. The tools at the safe height level are set at the XY coordinates of the tool in and move quickly in the Z axis to the height of the rapid down to and will start working fit at this point. Let's enter here 5. The material top simply determines the top level of the material. Leave in this field 0 and the final depth determines the milling depth. Type in here minus 18. The number of cuts parameter defines the number of passes that will be generated between the material top and the final depth level. And type in here for example 5 number of cuts and the depth of cut can be equal or specified. We can specify the depth of the first pass and the depth of the last pass. Enter here 
one and here one. Okay. In the machining data tab, in the stock to be left field, we can leave the elements on the contour for finishing machining, but for now leave here zero and go to the lead in out tab. In the lead in out tab, we can specify how the tool enters the material and how the tool leaves the material. We will return to this tab in a moment. And in the tool data tab, we can change selected parameters. Changing these parameters will only apply to this particular operation. It will not affect the global definition of the tool. OK, let's click OK and select OK, click OK here and select Outer Contour and accept the selection by clicking right mouse button. OK, and let's switch to the easy view. OK, you can see that we have the contour machining in five passes of which the first and the last are one millimeter deep. Let's change the place and the way the tool enters the material. To change the entry point of the tool in from the edit tab, select start point option and using the snap, select midpoint of snap, select this line. OK. Cancel this command by right clicking and let's go to the operation tab in the project manager. As you can see, the operation name changed to blue. This means that you need to update the toolpath after the changes are made. Right click the operation name and select update option. OK. Now let's change the way the tool enters the material. Right click on the operation and select edit option. OK. Go to the lead in out tab. And to change the way the tool enters the material, select the apply auto lead in out. OK. We can use tool in by line arc or as a combination of line and arc. Choose both to get the entry which will consist of a line and an arc. If you want the line and arc to be tangent, select this option. The line length option allows you to specify the length of the input line. The value of this parameter is the tool radius multiplier. So typing here, for example, 2, we get a line length of 12 millimeters. The arc radius is a parameter with which we determine the radius of the arc of entry. And as in the case of the length of the line, it is a multiplier of the tool radius. So the radius of the entrance arc will be 6 millimeters. The approach angle is the arc angle of tool in and the feed rate modifiers parameter allows you to modify the feed value for the tool in. We can now add parameters for the lead out and to use the same parameters as for the lead in, just click this button. We have another important parameter here, overlap. With this parameter, we can make the tool exit point from the material will be not at the same place as the entry point. The exit point will be shifted from the entry point by entered value, for example, 10 millimeters. OK, click OK to see how the toolpath changes. OK. 
okay okay tool in and tool out it looks good the tool will start the entry on the line and then gently enter the material on the arc in addition the tool exit point from the material is shifted 10 millimeters relative to the tool entry point okay now we will prepare the pocket machining 